emphasize that this is in no way a reflection of how I feel about the platform of YouTube and of Team Super. I love YouTube, I love Team Super. This is not about you, this is to do with me. Lily Singh has been causing a lot of controversy over on Twitter lately, but in this video, we're gonna talk about a different reason why I'm a little bit disappointed with the Superwoman. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. And what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And real quick, before I jump into the video, like, I just wanted to say thank you so much, so, so, so much to everybody who went out and got a copy of Rewire Your Anger yesterday. Yesterday was like the official launch of the book and I've been struggling with like some imposter syndrome and like, is this book gonna suck? Are people not gonna like it? But I've already been getting some excellent feedback from you guys who have been reading it and I, I'm very glad that it's helping you kind of look at your anger issues in another way. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, but yeah, for those of you who haven't got it yet, it's $4.99 over in the Kindle store and there's links down in the description all over the place all right but yeah anyways let's jump into this topic of Lily Singh so so yeah I made a video a couple weeks ago maybe three weeks ago it was a while it was before I moved to this new apartment with Tristan so yeah Lily Singh um, for those of you who don't know she's a big youtuber and she made a video a few weeks ago about how she was taking a break from YouTube and she talked about her mental health and I what I like to do especially when it comes to YouTubers is try to try to teach you guys like what you can learn from them because YouTubers aren't the only ones that are burning out like just so you know I know a lot of like YouTube creators like think or like even some like journalists think that like burnout is only an issue with YouTube but like a lot of you out there are experiencing burnout. Like we as a society are working more than ever before. And part of it is because of our smartphones and you know, working before we get to work, working after we get to work. Like, trust me, I get it. I work from here, so I'm constantly working. But anyways, so Lily Singh was talking about taking a mental health break. And something that I brought up in my video was that I see a lot of people, a lot of people saying that they're gonna take a mental health break and they don't do anything with it. Like they just sit around their house and binge watch Netflix and doing that is not taking a mental health break, all right? Like I keep trying to tell you guys, if you are taking a mental health break or even a mental health day from work, like do something, do something productive. Maybe it's, you know, you've been too busy to go to therapy, go to therapy. Maybe it's spending time with friends and family, like do that, like start meditating, read books, do, do something for your mental health. So yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed in Lily Singh because, you know, she took this mental health break. It's something that, um, you know, I, I brought up and she's like already back, but it seems like she filled that time off with doing collaborations. All right. Like, She's doing the, the 12 collabs of Christmas and I'm like, oh, Lily, 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 Lily. And, and, and it bums me out because it doesn't seem like she took this time, this took this time to do something with her mental health. And I saw on Twitter, she was asking about like, you know, therapy and, you know, saying something about mental health. And trust me, trust me, trust me. I love so much when uh, bigger YouTubers are talking about mental health. It gets the conversation going. And I'm an optimist. I think regardless of whether or not, uh, you know, Lily Singh like went and got help or not, just starting that conversation to her millions of subscribers, it, it might have inspired somebody to go. Like, just so you know, like what makes my day, what makes my day is when you guys like tag me on Twitter and say, Chris, watching your videos has inspired me to start working on my mental health. Chris, watching your videos like has inspired me to give therapy another try. Chris, watching your videos like it inspired me to start meditating. Like, I just want you to do something about your mental health. But, but like on the other, on the other side of that, being such a loud voice uh, in social media, being such an influence, like it, it also makes me wonder like what people are taking from her mental health break, right? Like those people that she is inspiring and people who, you know, look up to her. Like, is she showing like, hey, take a mental health break to do more work? You know what I mean? So like, I think there's some mixed messages. Like what I would hope like in my dream scenario is when YouTubers take a mental health break, like, 
they come back and they tell you what they did for their mental health. Like for example, Manny MUA, right? Like when he took his mental health break, like he came back with like this like BS little documentary thing. Like he didn't do anything for his mental health. So that's why I try to get this conversation going and I'm not here to throw shade at, at anybody, but I'm here to talk to you guys because I want you to learn from these things and take, you know, what they're doing or what they're not doing and try to learn from it so you can improve your mental health. All right, so like I was debating on making this like second part of the video, so let me just do this. There, there's a big fat disclaimer, big fat disclaimer on this. I am not accusing Lily Singh of this, okay? This is just something that has been a conversation for the past year or so on YouTube, and I just wanna bring light to it because I don't know, and I would never, ever, ever accuse somebody of something like this unless it was like very warranted. And what that is, is a lot of people have been asking like, is mental health like just a trendy thing? Like, is it trendy to just talk about mental health? Like some of you noticed in the YouTube Rewind when they did their whole like segment talking about like, you know, things, you know, going on in the world or whatever, they said they had a part about mental health. Everyone who managed to do something bigger than themselves this year, who found a way to help the causes that matter to them most. To everyone who proved it's okay to talk about mental health this year and showing their viewers that it's okay to go through tough times like that. It takes a lot of bravery to be that vulnerable and I'm so proud of this community. A question that I get, a question I get, you know, when I've been interviewed, like on some podcasts and things like that is like, is mental health just becoming trendy? And it's like, yes and no, right? Like more people are talking about it um, and I think that's good, but do I think that some, do I, I, I'll put it this way. I think it would be very ignorant of me to say that I don't think some creators, again, not accusing Lily of doing this, I, I would be ignorant of me to say, to not think that some creators are using mental health as a way to get views and hop on a trending topic. So like, that, that's something else that I get concerned about. Like, okay, like, did you just, you know, talk about mental health just to get empathy or sympathy or excuse some of your behavior, you know, because that's something I see a lot. And by the way, just so you know, if you haven't met me yet, hi, I'm Chris, and I will never, ever, ever, ever in a million years tell you that your mental health is an excuse for being a jerk, all right? Never, okay? And in my book, I have an entire chapter about why you need to apologize because that kind of stuff isn't cool. But anyways, like another reason why I want to touch on this is because, so, a lot of you who have asked me about meditation and meditation apps, one of my favorite apps is the Calm app, okay? I love the Calm app. It has saved my butt when I'm having anxiety attacks. I love it oh so much. It has so many different meditations. But anyways, Tristan and I were watching um, some YouTube yesterday and an influencer was sponsored by Calm and like, I paused and I'm like, Tristan, do you think this person actually meditates? Because like, I'm not gonna say who it is, but I think there's a slim to like zero chance that this person actually meditates. But then not only that, not only that, but then they started talking about meditation. They're like, oh yeah, when I used the app, it was really cool because there's like this nice voice and they're like, imagine walking through a forest. I'm like, oh no. Like one of my things when I'm trying to get you guys to meditate is to teach you that there's so many misconceptions about meditation. Like. That's not what, like, okay, trust, there are meditations like that, but that's not what meditation is. When you turn on a meditation app, like, it's not like, now picture yourself floating in a never-ending, you know, uh, ocean, <laughs> you know? Like, there are some visualization meditations, but those are not the ones that I do. And, like, I've been using the Calm app for about two years now, I think, and I've never come across a meditation that's telling you like to imagine that you're walking through like a tranquil forest or something. So I just want you guys to keep an eye on that. Like do your own research, do your own research. And that's my best advice for anything. Like do your own research on this stuff. It's something that I'm teaching my son all the time. And like one of the reasons you have to do your own research, and I'm just gonna throw this in here real quick. This is just my opinion on what's been going on in the YouTube community. Like when it comes to Lily Singh, or you even see it in the, in the YouTube Rewind, like, Everybody's hopping on to, you know, the, the, these topics, but I don't, and I watch all of them. I watch all of them for some reason, but like what's interesting to me is that not many people are adding something new to the conversation. You know what I mean? So what, what I want you all to do is just take that with a grain of salt. Like just because a lot of people are saying it or a lot of your creators in your bubble are saying it, 
Like, form your own opinion. Do your own research on these things, all right? Like, that'll help your mental health. Trust me, okay? But anyways, anyways, let me know down in the comments below, like, what do you do when you take a mental health break, all right? Or let me know down in the comments below, what are your thoughts? Like, do you think mental health has become trendy? I've talked about this in other videos, like, some people like overuse words, like they say they're anxious when they're actually nervous, or they say they're depressed when they're actually sad. Like, let me know down in the comments below, like what you think, how that affects you, and all that stuff, all right? And again, thank you everybody who's picked up a copy of Rewire Your Anger, you're all awesome. Thank you for the feedback. Keep giving me feedback, leave reviews over on Amazon. I am getting started on my next book, probably in the next couple weeks. I'm also working on the audio version of Rewire Your Anger, so stay tuned for that for all of you who wanted the audio version. All right, but anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And in case you missed it, there is some brand new Patreon exclusive content up over on the Patreon. All right, so thanks again so much for watching. I'll see you next time.